My name is Nick Principe. I'm in a band called Port St. Willow, and I'm here today to record a song for Shaking Through. That's where it hits. Like, do, 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 do. Oh. Nick and I have known each other for most of our lives. The most embarrassing one. <sighs> <laughs> and then we're gonna run the whole thing back. We grew up together, and we, pretty much from the beginning of our friendship, we're playing music together and writing music together. Do you need to run through B or C at all? Can we, uh, can we start again? Hmm? Can we start again? Yeah. The way that I like to think of it is that we learned how to write songs by writing them together. After seeing what it did for Sharon Van Etten and thinking about what the potential of it for, for Port St. Willow just seemed like a really good match. Do you want vocals or no vocals? No, it's okay. No, we'll yeah, that's really right. That's a good combo. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, go ahead and play, and, and John will get some levels. I've always played drums. I've always played guitar. Recently, I've started actually writing drum parts one, first. Two. He is one of the more unusual sounding drummers I've ever heard. A lot of the approach to my drumming I think has been figuring out what pattern I want and then putting it wherever I want on the kit. These little nuanced sounds, I'm really into clicks and, and hitting the wood. So, you know, th this song is likely to involve like a decent amount of Pro Tools editing. And then I don't know if we want to go back to tape to do the overdubs to it. If the, if the backbone of the song is on tape, it would be a lot warmer, correct? Yeah, so it will yeah. be. I like that. It'd be, it would be much easier for I'd... the way that we want to approach this song. Nick and I collaborated on the guitar sound for this record and I tried to help move it in a certain direction based on a lot of the studio work I've been doing with the Antlers. We would just talk more about the sound that we were looking for um, and kind of what it needed and lock it in and adjust it. It's an expansive sound, but it's also, it has a lot of shape and it, it changes over time. You still get that guitar sound, but kind of everything that follows that tail afterwards is just um, fed through so many things. You know, you can take it to a place where it doesn't even sound like a guitar. The second half of that was good. The song I brought in today is called Stay Even. So it's kind of actually three small songs that are tied together. It really started with uh, a drum beat and a line, say yes or say no, that really is tied into just Kind of this action over thought thing that I find I find is really easy to think a lot and to get caught up in that. It's kind of really just a song about choice in a lot of ways, like the choice to do this, the choice to put this first. When we wanted to start tracking the song, we decided um, the easiest way would be to start off with the drums, because they're kind of the backbone and the driving force. And then once that was down, we wanted to just get that, that guitar to set the tone of where the vocals could play. Um, and then from there, then on the blueprint was kind of there. Everything kind of loosened up, and it really moved. It really moved after that. Don't call me liar. I'm holding on. Yeah, I'm choosing what we been. You know, we grew up recording in a barn in my parents' house, and that's all we did. So the idea to be able to do this again just all felt really right. The combination of our friendship plus our musical history, everything was really in sync. It was those little touches that like, he saw what needed to be done and how he could do it and how he could make it better. This way of releasing music and introducing new bands could be the start of a huge change that is really needed right now.
I think that more things like this need to exist, and I think that as, as a culture, we clearly value and love art, but it's becoming increasingly track is kind of just a trope. difficult to find ways to support it. It's, it's kind of bringing it back to what's so enjoyable about making music, because at the, you're seeing it happen piece by piece, and then at the end it all comes together and you sort of experience the magic that people making a record do. So to give a glimpse into that is really unusual and really important. This experience has been incredible. You meet people who don't know you, um, who like your music and want to make it better, who want to not only give you access to something that you wouldn't have otherwise, but then get behind it. Um, it's not only is it really humbling, um, but it's, it's also just awesome.